Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I'm back in The Sims 4 with our werewolves. Let's play. He's in the middle of exploring the tunnels right now. Uh, da, 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 da. It's just, we're trying to find something new, some kind of new interaction. In the last episode, we did uh, find a new little lockbox or something, but he wasn't strong enough to lift it. So anyway, I'm just kind of trying to have him navigate here so he hears music as CEO comes to a large round room with an expansive really cr I think we we read that before um it looks like he's scared or something <laughs> all right I'm gonna see honestly want to go over their house it looks super fun <laughs> I want to go in this room it looks really cool in that house I guess it might be a little guest house have I lived in there before I don't remember anyway I might take take a uh a little inspiration from their house because i like the okay he didn't find anything i like the wood with the mossy roof and i feel like all houses over here should be almost the same like that so let's maybe take a little look see and see what i can do there let's see let's grab this cabin walls and let's do i don't know which brown they use but let's use this brown I mean, we have white walls now, so it's, like, weird. I don't know. I almost like the the look of it before. But I'm just, I'm just trying something new, you know? Okay. And let's see. This one was more brown, I guess. I don't know. I kind of like it. But also, I don't know. <laughs> and then, let me just see. Can I see from here what his house looks like? It's over here. So they have obviously have brown windows and doors, which I feel like, I really do feel like we should kind of match the aesthetic of what's going on in the town, you know? So if we did, it's kind of like too dark in this town sometimes. We can obviously do, let's see what the window options are. So we can do, not that one, it's either this one. This one looks really good, this one. So I might do this selection here. I don't know. I think we might have to go with this. It's just, I liked what we had before, but it might be just uh, better doing it this way. It just looks better, I think. It blends in more with the world, if you will. Let's see if this has a, ugh, of course this one doesn't match anything, but that's okay. And we will just need to change the floorboards and, and whatever else we have here. So these, I kind of honestly want to do like a stone just because that's what the this is made out of. But let's see what we can find here. I mean, I don't really like our options, if I'm being quite honest. We could do this dark one, right? So this matches the brown. And it goes into a black. See, I don't know. I kind of like this just a lot more. The White House was cute and everything, and I liked... Actually, we could still kind of do two-tone. Let me just get to that. Um, first, we want to get this wallpaper back. And we get the other brown. And we can do that. I don't know. I like having it all one color. At first, I was like, we need to have two different colors. But now, I'm like... Mm. Okay, can I select this roof trim, please? And then... We'll get a brown. All right. I think it's looking a lot better. Dang, it's looking amazing. Uh, we do need to change the window boxes, which won't be too shabby. Hopefully there's a nice brown one. Honestly, I kind of want to do something different, but it's okay. Like the black might even be okay, just because it kind of matches the trim at the bottom there. And then for these wooden stairs, I don't know what these will look like. Oh, I don't like them. Let me see. I mean, what's this one look like? Oops. Nope. Let's see if we can get a filter by color here. We'll do a dark brown. So even like that. That actually doesn't look too bad. I kind of like that. Which one was it? I don't remember. I think it was this one. That one isn't too bad. I don't hate it. That one probably goes a lot better, though. I also don't want it to make the, the door disappear. So I'm going to 
temporarily move the door. See, I think this one goes a lot better. I don't know. It kind of goes a lot more with the bottom. Can't really explain it. The, uh... Oh, we need to, like, get rid of this. We get rid of these stairs and then put those stairs in. Nope. Sorry, it's glitching out for some reason. Um, I kind of want to try this, too. I think I tried this... In just briefly before. I mean, don't hate it. I think I'll try it out for a little bit. We could ultimately have bigger, have big stairs coming off the side, right? right well, like both sides here. Like that. I hate how that does that to that section of stairs. I really don't like it. Do we need both sides? Probably not. Honestly, we might just want to do the one, but I'll keep both just because why not? Um, and then I will tuck this in right here so that they have that shower coming right off of there and they could just use these stairs to go maneuver to there. Uh, I'll still keep the same shower, I believe. This seems a little too dark for me now. I'm not sure. Let me see what I got in terms of roof trim, or sorry, uh, whatever this is called. This trim. See, I like that a lot better. And I guess if there's a lighter gray, we can use that. Just so it like pops a little bit more. It just blends in a little too much. I don't want to go completely really, really light gray like that. And then this one is just white. We can go black, right? I don't know. I really don't know what I want to do with the chimney there. I think that's where we're kind of torn. We could do a brown brick, which I guess makes sense. And it kind of goes, you guys will have to let me know what you think. I mean, this obviously matches the roof, right? So like, do I do that or do I go with the black or brown? I don't know. Decisions, decisions. I almost want to leave that and I'll change it if you guys let me know in the comments for real. I'm very curious. Okay, um, I'm going to put the door back. These are looking a little more red now that I'm looking at it. Let me see if I can get it to this time of day. Okay, it's not too bad. And then for these, obviously we had the white fence, but let's go with a brown fence. I guess we'll do this dark one. We'll just change it like this. Is that the brown that we want to go with? I mean, we can go with this rustic one. <laughs> I don't know. I think I like that one the most. I think it's all coming together. It looks a little bit more like it blends in. I do need to fix up the shrubbery around here, though. I don't think a lot of this is great. Like, I don't think it fits. Um, one thing that I feel like I need to do maybe if i i mean i kind of want to just get a porch right so i'll take this and duplicate it this might get rid of the no that's fine it worked okay and then we'll take these stairs and position them here and there we go we have some stairs now i did not Sorry, I'm trying to, oops, trying to focus on this. I did not change the patio floor color, if you will. Um, this right here. So let me get this. Um, and then we will see if we can do this color. I like it. It's, it's kind of a little everywhere, but I don't know. Because I <laughs> kind of like the white back here. But also, I kind of liked the wood grain that was on there with the stairs, you know? So let's not do the porch. Let's just do the stairs. Like that. And let's leave it at that for now and see where we get. Um, like I said, I think I'll take away some of the shrubbery and plant some new stuff. But we're not at that point right now. How, did we, how is it possible we got even more money? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Not a single clue. Now, being that it is night day let's see i'm trying to i want to pick a nice bed for them 
<sighs> I'm back to the bed problem, right? So we can get, like, this is just a nice bed, right? But I don't know. Like, this one changes the color of the frame too much. I just want the same frame with different color bed sheets. This is the same situation. I don't like it. I really am feeling this one, but at the same time, I also don't think it really goes. I'm gonna actually grab one of these and just put it in here temporarily. Hopefully I remember to take it out. It's all across our fingers. So like I said, this is our option. It just seems like it might go with whatever we have happening. This isn't too bad. This definitely goes, but I don't like the green. All right. Um, so we aren't digging those options. We obviously have these, but I feel like it's too nice. This one is kind of cool, right? Energy five. It's not too dingy of a bed. I think we could work with this. I think we could. However, I do need to keep in mind that we can change the walls. This is all just a placeholder. But um, if I want to match the floors, this one might be it because it's kind of woodsy, right? But it's also decorative. So I think Zinnia will be okay with it. Some of these beds I just don't think will fit in, in with the aesthetic. I mean, we could go something more like this in traditional, but I think I think we're good. So, one other thing I want to check. This is just a regular desert skies. I want to see if... You, well, obviously, we can get it in different colors. I don't know what color that is. But I guess it's green. We could do green. Looks a little bit more clean. Um... I don't know. I just kind of don't want to do the brown trim. I just am not feeling it. So I don't know. I don't know what to do there. It's it's a struggle. Honestly, just part of me wants to be like, oh, where did it go? This one and just ta-da. But even so, it looks dirty, essentially. So we're working on it. Like even these ones would be so much better. This definitely looks a lot better, but the trim to me just doesn't work. I don't know if I'm just being very picky or what. But I just don't think I'll be able to go with what we've what we've gone with thus far. We can go like this with an accent wall. Maybe it's just it's just not coming together. I'm not feeling it. But I think we do need to go like more rustic e cabin e ish. But I just don't like it. I don't like it. Maybe I gotta go visit the neighbors and kind of judge it from there. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, I forgot to sell the light bulb. Uh, I can't grab it. Light bulb. All right, I'm just going to put it in the inventory since I spent so much money on it and I don't only want to get half back. So I'm actually going to go get and gather inspiration from our neighbors. If I can find them. Oh, yeah, that's right. He does have that book on Greg. We need to read that. Maybe we'll go visit the neighbors. Just go by ourselves. We'll read our book there while, while I personally explore the house. I just, I just don't know. I'm not sure if I like where we're going. I obviously don't want to do modern because I just don't think having a modern house in the middle of the woods is fantastic. I mean, it can do, I can do that, but it'd be modern inside like a more rustic place. You know, it's weird. All right, I'm going to knock on the door. We're going to try to get in here. Okay, so she's got, actually hers isn't too shabby. I don't like, I'm not a huge fan of whatever's happening here. Um, the different like wood colored walls. Like what's up with that? I don't know. Also what? Oh, I thought this was a kitchen. I was like, why is there a toilet in the kitchen? It's a really nice big bathroom. Um, the kitchen's there. I mean, I kind of like what she's, what, what she's working with here. I don't mind it. Also, like, her her place is so nicely lit. I don't know why. And then there's a cute little bunk bed here. And we've got another room over here. And we've got this over here. So, I mean, I think we're going in the right direction. I almost really like these, these walls. But also, I know personally, 
I would go crazy if I had to live with like wooden walls like this. I know a lot of people are like into the log cabin and wood paneling thing, but I personally am not. And I am a little bit, I guess, biased or like just try to avoid it at all costs. <laughs> um, I love it over here. It's very, it's super rustic. It's like if you're, if it's a full moon or whatever, you get locked in here. That would actually be a pretty cool, pretty cool story. So that's looking great. Um, maybe we can, I don't know if our lot's big enough to actually pull off something like that, but <laughs> it's looking cool. We have garden. I love it here. All right. So let's take some time and maybe read that book. This is the diary of Greg. So we'll go ahead and read that. I feel like we're going to get some very valuable information from that. Brutus is growing older. Before my transformation, when I was like any other spellcaster, he was my familiar. Though that particular connection is now lost, we still share a kinship of the moon itself. In our sharp fangs, our fighting power prowess, in a way, he has become my brother and I am already wary of how it will feel to watch him slow down. This particular entry appears to have a shimmering enchantment over top that Theo is able to read through. At the end of the century conflict, the remaining werewolves scattered throughout the world. The Vol Volkovs remained in Mood Woodmill. On one of my visits, I discovered a chamber below my grounds that tells the werewolf origin story. John and Maria Volkov must have asked a spellcaster to come and infuse it with magic, moon magic. Whoever sings the moon song as a, sh as a show of respect will be rewarded. Sentimental to the last. Theo learned a secret about the mysterious room in the Moonwood Mill Tunnel System. He should go check out the local tunnels for answers. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad he's getting some information there. Okay. This is any uh, great timing. Um, I will call you right back. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, he's in here reading uh, Greg's diary, which I don't know if that's a smart idea. Greg is a little um, particular about his, oops, about his things. All right, he's reading away. I think we'll just go ahead and head home now that we've gathered our inspiration. I think my key is to light the rooms very well and I won't see them as like super dark and dingy. It's like going to be hard to match the browns though, but clearly they do not match the browns in this house. So I guess it's not that important. <sighs> Matching browns in this, in this game, of course, it's, it's a struggle. <sighs> okay. Let me, let me see. We do need to invite Zinio over, I think. She, she hasn't been over today, I don't think. Has she? Maybe. Maybe she has. Uh, but it's 1.30 p.m. We'll ask to hang out at current place. We'll invite Zinio over. And we will... Well, we should probably mark our territory. And... Well, we should probably say hey to Zinnia now that we have a new bed. Look at that. Suave kiss. Let's just go in strong with a kiss and see if... <gasps> Did she deny? They didn't kiss. Uh, hey, Theo. I was calling to let you know I adopted a child. Oh, wow. Would you like to come say hello? Okay. And then we can go with Zinnia. That'll be cool. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> All right. And we're here. All right, where's your child? Where is your child? Hello? Hello? I have not seen a child. I would think the child would be out here. Is this your child? It's Jacob. I thought he already existed. Anyway. I uh, I don't know where this, I don't know if it's a baby, if it's an adult, like, or a teenager, or what we're working with. Uh, I don't see anybody, so I guess we'll have to find out later. But yeah, this is Christopher, and he literally, 
He literally is married to that girl that asked me if she should date somebody. Anyway, it's a big whole thing here. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. And we're going to come back and we're going to work on him and Zinnia's relationship as well as his work on the werewolf situation. I'm going to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.